Hi, I'm Christine Tizard. I'm the Three Way Chef, and today I'm going to show you three different ways to use fresh turmeric. Is it turmeric or is it turmeric? It's turmeric. It's turmeric? I think it's turmeric. It's not turmeric. <laughs> no, newbie. <laughs> yeah, I'm a newbie. Today, I wanted to show you guys how to use fresh turmeric. I think it's called turmeric. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's what we're going for with today. Uh, this is fresh turmeric. I'm finding it popping up more and more in the grocery stores. Uh, I know people are very familiar with using it as a powdered form, but not a lot of people know how to use it like this. It looks like a gnarlier version of ginger. It's, um, it's orange. It uh, is very intense in color. Uh, which is why I'm going to use gloves and I really, really suggest you use gloves and a kind of crappy cutting board and don't kind of use it near anything that you find precious because it will stain anything it comes in contact with, uh, even your fingers, so that's why I'm using gloves. But I keep on hearing more and more about the health benefits of this stuff, uh, anti-inflammatory, it's, it's great for circulation, there's so many great things about turmeric, so I'm gonna show you three ways to use it fresh. So the first way is a very traditional way to use uh, turmeric, and that is in a curry paste. So I am gonna throw everything in my food pro processor because it's so potent in color, I'm just gonna use my food processor and then I'm gonna wash it right away. Uh, so we will start with our ingredients. Uh, we have our garlic cloves, five. This will make about a half a cup of curry paste. Uh, one shallot, just roughly chopped. Lemongrass, this is four or five stalks um, of the ends, which I've bashed and uh, peeled the outer layers and then chopped up, so you want uh, about a tablespoon of fresh lemongrass. I'll add my pinch of salt. So this is uh, five dried uh, chilies, Thai chilies preferably, and I have it, uh, they've been soaked in uh, warm water for about 15 minutes, just soften up, throw those in there. I have my ginger, beautiful ginger here, so uh, about a one inch knob that I've peeled and just chopped up. Cumin coriander, I took the whole seeds, I toasted them quickly in a pan just until they became aromatic, and then I ground them in a little uh, old coffee grinder that I have that I use as a spice grinder, so we'll add that. Salted shrimp paste, um, I found this in a Korean market up the street. This is what's gonna give it that umami flavor. And then I will put on my gloves and we'll start dealing with this turmeric. Oh, I can't. It's so hard to put on gloves when your hands are wet. <laughs> So we want a one inch knob of your turmeric. I'm gonna use the biggest bulb here and I'm gonna use this old cutting board because I don't want it to ruin my nice wooden cutting board. Um, it's a little harder to peel than ginger, I find. So sometimes I'll take like the back of a spoon or a knife and you can just, and you can just like scrape off the outside like this. Well, I'll get most of it off. And just, let's just give it a chop and throw it in here perfect and now all we have to do is process it i'm just going to drizzle in a little bit of oil to loosen it up and make a little bit more of a paste so that looks really good kept it going until we have a nice pasty consistency and now you are ready to make a curry just add this to some coconut milk some shrimp or some green beans maybe so good so that's an easy way to use fresh turmeric in a paste the second way I'm gonna show you how to use fresh turmeric is a very simple turmeric rice so I already did the rice ahead of time I'm just gonna talk you through it this is just jasmine rice that I boiled um, one cup of rice two cups of water but what I did was I took a good one inch knob of this turmeric I grated it with a, a microplane or if you have a garlic press, that's great. Just press it in there. I added two star anise and a little bit of a cinnamon stick while it was cooking. And uh, yeah, just cooked it according to the package instructions. Use any type of rice you, you like. I use jasmine and this is why you end up with this beautiful yellow rice and it tastes really good and you really get that flavor of the turmeric in there. I'm just gonna finish it off by adding some peas in there. I'm gonna take out those 
star anise and this is cinnamon stick. So I don't want anyone choking on it. Mix it up and you have your simple turmeric rice. So you could do the same thing with quinoa if you wanted, any sort of grain. Just grate that fresh turmeric in there. Easy turmeric rice. The third way I'm gonna show you how to use fresh turmeric is I'm gonna show you a golden tea. Um, it's almost like a turmeric tonic. It's really great. You can have it warm, you can have it cold. It lasts in the fridge for five days. Uh, traditionally, it's used with cow milk, but I'm gonna use a combination of, uh, this is cashew and coconut milk? No, almond and coconut milk? A uh, combination of almond and coconut milk. Uh, I'm gonna put it in my pan. And I'm gonna fuse this milk with lots of flavors. We'll add our cinnamon stick. We'll add coconut oil. It's gonna to add to that coconut flavor. Our ginger, just thinly sliced, and that beautiful orangey fresh turmeric. I'm gonna cook it without any sweetener at this point in time. I like to add the sweetener towards the end, so let's just bring this to a boil, or a first boil. And then just like tea, we're gonna let it steep and we're gonna let all those flavors infuse. So once it's come to a boil, which is perfect now, I don't want it like a rolling boil, just a first boil, I can turn it off and I'm just gonna let it steep. I'm gonna cover it up, let it steep like tea, 10 minutes, and then we can sip it, sit back and enjoy our nice turmeric golden tea. So our turmeric tonic golden tea, it's done, it's been steeping, it has a really, really great color. I can smell, I mean, turmeric's very aromatic, especially when you mix it with the ginger and stuff. You can store this in the fridge for up to five days. Take it out when you want a little hit. It smells really good. I mean, turmeric has a very interesting flavor. It's, it's a little bit like ginger. It's a little bit like orange. It's kind of bitter. It's pungent. There's so many different ways you can incorporate into your cooking every day and with all the health benefits of turmeric it being cancer fighting and arthritis and all these things are telling you it's one of the healthiest things you can possibly take so start using it up and start using it fresh if you find it in the grocery store pick some up and, and try it out uh, if you have any uh, ingredients or recipes you'd like for me to try three ways let me know like comment subscribe and um, yeah i'd love to hear your comments